Hi there, Rune here and welcome to Rune Picker, where today I'm going to show you how you can make your first magnetic challenge pins. As many others of you out there, I work a regular nine to five job. And as someone who is heavily involved in the lock sport community, I often find myself daydreaming about picking locks and unique locking mechanisms. As I was sitting at my desk, thinking about locks, I remembered back to my wilderness survival teaching in the Boy Scouts. During our training, we were always taught to take a needle and a magnet with us to make a pseudo compass if we got lost. This idea struck me and I walked back into what we call the cave of wonders at my work. The cave is a place where we store obsolete and discarded materials. And as I was sorting through, I found two clips, the size of lock pins and a magnet. I thought while looking at them, if I can magnetize a needle, why not challenge pins? So that is what we're gonna to do today. Let's throw these in the vise and cut the material to length. All right, so we have the pin clamped in the vise and what I've done is I've marked the flat side of it with a Sharpie to indicate where we're gonna cut because what we wanna do is we want to salvage this flat bar stock. This curved portion is no good for us when making our challenge pins. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this Dremel with this diamond cutting tip and cutting it off. You can also use a hacksaw, but I just find this a little bit faster and easier. All right, so now that we have that cut, generally, these are pretty hot, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and cool it off in some water, and then we're going to chuck it up in the Dremel and take some measurements. So we'll be right back. All right, so we got the pin in the vise, uh, off screen. I did a little bit more refined work. I cut the pin down by half because we didn't need we didn't need the whole material. Um, so we have it in the Dremel. And so what we're gonna go for is just a basic spool for this demonstration. Um, first off though, we need to find how big this is um, to make sure it'll fit in the lock. Let's see, that says three 3.21 millimeters for this. And our regular standard size pin is, if I can, not too much different, 2.93. So we got to shave off a little bit of material, but uh, not too terrible much. Uh, so we'll thin out this pin and then we'll also turn it into a spool. So. I'm gonna be using some needle nose files. I'm gonna use this flat file here. Uh, maybe I'll use a different one actually. I'll use this one to uh, flatten it out and shave some material. And then I'll use the side of this one, the side of the flat edge to do the spool portion of it. That should be good actually. All right, so we are at the correct diameter now. So now we can actually do the spool portion of it. Now you can do whatever you want for pin design. Um, I'm just doing a spool cause it's the easiest one. Um, actually a gin would be easiest. Maybe I'll just do a gin, uh, gin on top here like that. So I'm gonna curve the edge and I'm gonna do a gin uh, style top pin, so.
All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, typically a gin will have a smaller diameter head than the body, so we're just gonna thin out this top part real quickly. That's pretty good for a, a pseudo gin for demonstration that should work. Uh, normally you'd want a more square lip, but this I think this will work for what we want to do for our demonstration. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this off here. So you can do it a couple different ways. Um, I usually like to find a flat edge file and do it. Um, it just seems to work a little bit better. Um, if you have a, a decently good hacksaw, you can do it. Uh, my hacksaw has been put through the ringer. So let's go ahead and just... So we cut it off and it fell off, so I gotta use the magnet to find it, but we're gonna cut to, after I find it, I'm gonna quench it and I'll show you how to magnetize it. So we'll be right back. All right, so I spent about <clears throat> 20 minutes looking for that pin that dropped and I couldn't find it. So off camera, I made a replica of it. It's still the same material, still not magnetized. Um, here it is right here, if I can grab it, come on. Here is the pin that we that I made. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this pin and rub it along the face of the magnet. We're rubbing the whole length of the pin along the face of the magnet. And what I'm doing is I'm magnetizing this, this pin. What, by doing this, what's really happening is the magnetic field is rearranging the atoms in the material to a north and south orientation. So now that I've done that a couple, a couple times, you can see we have magnetized our pin. So that is how you make magnetic challenge pins. So get out there, make some pins, cause some havoc. So once again, I'd like to thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial video. I hope you guys found it informative and I hope you guys like this content. If you do, please hit the like button, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.